Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about limits, limit laws and a little bit more applications about graphs. Now we discussed a lot about limits in our previous video, uh, cards right up here. It uh, discusses a lot about limits and functions and uh, how it helps to talk about things which we could not talk about in regular notation. Now, did you know there are limits that can exist without f f the function actually existing or that point at least existing? Take a look at this limit. The limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 2 is equal to what? Now, if you paid very close attention, there is a domain restriction in this uh, in this function, which is x can't be 2, but x is approaching 2. Because if we plug in 2 and directly substitute, it would be 0 divided by 0. But you can't divide it by 0 as it was shown in our previous videos. There's no, there's no def definite answer. You can, however, simplify the numerator of the function by factoring out the binomial. Then we can see that this part of the numerator and this denominator cancel each other out, leaving us with a totally new function, which is substituted to 4. It's crazy. Would if and it's even crazier if you look at the graphs their graphs are exactly the same except for the point two here there is a circle which indicates a point missing take a look at another example here you can also simplify the numerator and the denominator but it won't look simplified so let's divide this entire function by x Square. So we're dividing the numerator and the denominator. Here is our answer. This does not look even remotely simple. But for our limit, it is absolutely simple. Think of these individual terms separately as the limit. If the limit as x approaches infinity, these all will approach zero. So really, all this is saying us is that the limit as x approaches infinity is equal to, is equals to one half. Now, if you take a look at this graph, this graph has three vertical, two vertical asymptotes and one horizontal asymptote, and here would be the the function as x approaches infinity. You can also see that this is similar if x approaches negative infinity. But do you always have to graph your limits to solve them? Well, not exactly. There are a set of limit laws that can help us manipulate the limit, like I uh, mentioned before, to get the answer without any graphing necessary. However, graphing is still important to get a clear picture. The first two limit laws is regarding sums and differences. So here we have limit as x approaches a of two functions adding with each other is equal to the limits of those individual functions. The second one is exactly the same, but for a minus sign. And this is pretty much similar when we get to products and differences. The, the fifth rule suggests is the limit as x approaches a of c times f of x. So a constant times a function would be equal to the constant times the limit of the function itself. Now the the rest of the laws apply if the exponent is positive. So this limit is pretty much simple. The limit is uh, the limit of a function raised to an exponent is the same as the limit raised to an exponent. The limit of a square root is the same as the square root of the limit or any root of the limit. The limit of x raised to a certain exponent 
is the same as the value it's approaching raised to an exponent the limit of of x of an um, nth root of x is the same as the nth root of the value that it's approaching the limit of a constant is a constant and the limit of x is always the value that it's approaching so that concludes a very important lesson for our concept of limits so that's all there is to it thank you for watching please make sure to like the video and share it to anyone who might need it and thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye